Hello and welcome back to the Darkest Dungeon. I am Chris Cavalier. Let's continue our descent into madness. Okay, so I have picked out a group and what we are going to do is we're gonna actually going to go after the Swine Prince. So we're going to go... Let's go ahead and make sure we have all of our trinkets available. Okay, let's go ahead and get her set up. What do we want to do with her? You know, bonus to her accuracy in melee is not a bad decision. Let's see, what else could we give her? Let's see, lower her stress damage is probably not a bad way to go. You know, we could give her the heavy boots, give her a little bit of protection. She may need some protection against the swine prince. Hank! Hammer and Hank, what do we want to give you, buddy? You know, he may be our rogue type, so what we may do is go ahead and give him the Ancestor's Map, give him the Survival Guide. Does not make him the greatest offensive guy in the world, but hopefully we'll be targeting and it will benefit him in that way. Ezor and Uka, the Houndmaster and his Hound, I guess, is, is probably what it comes down to. So I think most of his are ranged. So we're going to go ahead and go with ranged and see, let's add some, do we have some bleed skill chance? We do. Let's go ahead and throw that in there. And then we have Tinera. Tinera, we're going to give you the dazzling charm because you are absolutely charming in such a dazzling way. We could also give you a speed stone is a potential thing that may be of use. Some bleed resist, you know, could also be nice as well. Oh, I like this, the blood charm, plus 30 bleed resist. Let's go for that. So I'm not expecting this to be particularly easy, but I think we can do it. So we're going to give us two dog treats. I think we're going to go ahead and bring out the full contingent of food, since running out of food almost cost us against the caretaker. You know, let's bring out four of those. Yeah, we're getting low on some stuff already. Maybe let's go ahead and make sure we have plenty of torches. Is that going to be enough? Probably. Probably. You know, I'm going to be somewhat... Okay, maybe... Maybe less there. More there. Maybe one of those. Let's do it. So we got... If we don't succeed, we're selling trinkets to make things... To make ends meet, if you will. Let's get this thing underway. We're going... The ways and rituals of blood sacrifice are difficult to master. Those from beyond require a physical vessel if they are to make the crossing into our reality. The timing of the chance is imperative. Without the proper utterances at precise intervals, the process can fail spectacularly. We know all about failing spectacularly. A nameless abomination. A testament to my failures. It must be destroyed. Oh great, we got a weird... See, what can we do here? We can do... I don't know. We're gonna go this way. Ooh, look at this green hue. We already pick up a portrait. Self-portrait? Maybe. Probably not, though. Probably not. And I gotta keep a watch out for those secret rooms. Those that that that's kind of throws me. Let's go ahead and pop that torch. Keep things on the up and up here in the dark. You know we could go back. No, let's not. Let's Such not. Blockages are unsurprising. We got shovels. These tunnels predate even the earliest settlers. You may not know this, but these tunnels pre. Oh, he already said that. He beat me to the punch. You rambling buffoon. Oh, you know, I didn't, never went through and set all my abilities. Which, of course, is absolutely genius. Absolutely genius. Let's see, Hound's Rush could be useful. Could also do the targeting. I don't know here. Let's go ahead. Maybe focus on, on the little drummer boy. Let's see, what is that going to do? That's going to be this flashbang. Finish him. Has potential. Okay. Is nice. Maintain the offensive. What has she got here? We have the Wicked Hack. We have the Barbaric. Yup! We have If It Bleeds. And then we have Breakthrough. 
It has potential to kill that guy in one fell swoop. I kind of like that idea. The Yao could potentially stun people and it would debuff her. Getting a bleed going on this guy would not be a bad move, though. Let's see if we can clear him out fairly soon. Let's actually do some additional damage to him. Okay, that works. Destroy them all. Hook where it hurts. How dare you go after Nimra the Red? How dare you? Okay, what are we going to continue to do now? I think we probably could go ahead and mark somebody. Marking that guy's probably not worth it. Marking this guy, probably worth it. Let's see here, what do we got? So against Marked, he should do a ton of damage. A literal ton. We're gonna have her go ahead and heal. Stay on top of that if we can. We got a bit behind in our last mission. On the heels. What are you gonna do? Oh man! Reeling. About to break. That was that was painful. That was very painful. Let's see, you don't have Let's go ahead and get you bleeding. Okay, what can you do? You could actually go in there. Confidence surges. You will do some extra crumbles. damage. Uh oh. More hooks where it hurts. Yeah, you go ahead and heal Hank. Hank, you could dodge. I mean, for the love of all that's dark and dingy, you could dodge. Let's see how's that gonna be? Okay, that's not too bad. What does this thing do? A sacrificial stone. What the heck do you do with a sacrificial stone? I don't remember. You know, maybe it's something that we don't have that we could actually use. Here, you go ahead and touch it. What did he get? What did he get? Warren Scrounger. What does Warren Scrounger do for him? Plus 10 scouting chance in the Warrens. Okay. What do we see? Let's go ahead and go this way. Ooh. Oh, no. Tinera, how could you? In Latin, Vestal must mean idiot. Why would you go and grab that? Well, I guess we did all right. I guess it was curious. I was thinking it was something uh, where you're going to steal it for yourself. Although, although, while wow, you're killing me with your with your proclivities or whatever the heck that word is. What is that? You're curious. And bulimic. It's kind of an odd pairing, if you will. It's okay, we got lots of food. And I was going to use the medicinal herbs on that particular cask. Ooh, what's this? That move in, move to this room, room battle with Curio. Huh. Imagine that's the boss fight. You know, we really haven't got too much funky treasure. I, you know, I was thinking maybe I should rest there first. What do we got here? You are our best at that. Is that seriously the boss fight down there? That's kind of weird. We thought it would at least, at least be up there. I guess we're going to go find out, aren't we? We are definitely going to find out. Okay, let's go ahead and chow on some food. Just to make sure we are in good shape. I bet you can't eat any more. You're full. Full of it. Look at this. We got the Swine Prince and we have... Wilbur. Okay, so this is going to be the plan. We're going to take out the Swine Prince first and then Wilbur. Is my. I know that's a great plan. Okay, so we're going to mark you. Mocked for death. And then we're going to try to throw numerous amounts of bleed on you if possible. At least that's going to be part of the strategy. Let's see. She is marked, which is totally not cool. I wonder if we can do dazzling on him. I bet he's probably not going to be... Stunning him is probably not going to be our best move. You know, we may just go ahead and do like a heal on everybody. I guess she could, she could damage him. It's not going to be that significant, but it's going to be a little bit. There we go. How does that feel? 
obliterate body. Okay. And this one. So now we are marking Izor and Uka. Okay. Hank is looking pretty tough in this one. Looking pretty tough. Oh, look at that. He is pretty dangerous with the bleed. Let's see, maybe we go ahead and heal him. Or do we just want to keep on doing the damage? No, let's heal, let's, let's heal him. He is marked. She will throw on her attack and a bleed. Bleed is pretty significant right now. Five every three rounds. Or was it five for the next... It's five per round. I can, I can figure it out. I can uh, make it known what I'm thinking. Whether or not that's correct or not is a whoa, 34 damage. I know he's gonna go berserk now. Cannot come soon enough. He is gonna go berserk. What is your stun resistance? Your stun resistance is not so great, is it? Oh, but you are a quick little bugger. Okay, what can we do to him? We could try to stun him. I'm still thinking that is not a bad choice. It would debuff her, but I think he goes a little berserk. And I think preventing him from going berserk is pretty useful. Let's mark him. I don't know if that was necessarily all that useful. Go ahead and heal there. Hank, what do you got for me, buddy? Pretty good. Pretty good. There we go. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. You know, the swine prince was much easier. But a victory nonetheless. You know, I think we may continue on just to try to get some more loot stuff. I know that seems kind of weird. That we're going... What is that? That must be a secret room. We're definitely going there. Definitely going there. Oh, let's see here. I guess I could have healed if I really wanted to. Of course, our light dims as we enter combat. Oh, and I forgot to use the stupid dog treat. Can you believe that? I can't believe it. Let's see. You. I think we just have you go ahead and start trying to do damage. Marking is nice, but not necessarily the end-all be-all of your Houndmaster existence. You know, that's pretty decent damage. Let's go ahead and put it on him. No, embarrassing. Very embarrassing. Okay, well, at least we took one guy out. The blanket fire. Okay, what's a debuff do? We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to check it. Minus two dodge for two rounds. We'll take it. A little bit of damage. Shuffled things around a little bit. Also, he does some have a bill. He's actually better in this second rank. The way I had him set up. I know it probably would have helped if I would have actually went and taken a look how I had him set up, but that requires a lot of thought. You know, and you know that's that's not me. Impressive. Let's not overthink this. Okay, who who's up? Slice and dice. I remember when I was a small child, and there was this older kid that we'd played Dungeons and Dragons with every once in a while and he had a character named, or he had two characters and they were called Slice and Dice. You know, totally original. Nobody ever would have thought of such a genius name but him. Okay. You yeah, had those guys in the wrong order. And we still did alright. Still made it happen. So we could do the Barbaric Yelp. No. Breakthrough, maybe. Could do Breakthrough. There we go. How long is that going to last for? A couple rounds. Yeah, just try try killing him. The bleed is not all too great. That should finish him, though. We'll take it. Be wary. We Triumphant don't pride have enough room. Dizzying fall. Those damn dizzying falls, I tell you. You know, what could we... What what don't we need? I guess we could go ahead... She could drink the... She could drink the holy water. Gives you some resists that last for a little bit. The bleed is nothing significant. Pick up this torch here. I said we could pick up the torch. 
Where are we at for light? Light we're doing all right. So now the big question here. We want to go in here and fight first. I guess we could chow some food. In Radiance, may we find victory. Oh. Helps if you're clicking on the food as opposed to the torches. They don't call me a genius for nothing. Okay, let's go ahead and let's hit this. Oh, look at this, the big boy. Hello, Mr. Big Boy. How are you? Alright. The Arbalist. Is he an Arbalist or is he a Fusilier? He's a Fusilier. How could I confuse such greatness? Let's go ahead and heal everybody. Look at that. One around the horn. Yeah, that was a pretty good hit. How dare you shank Nimra the Red. How dare you. Okay, don't send her far. Don't send her far. Okay, we got a bleed going on him now. I know she is hurting pretty bad. Okay, the Fusilier we were able to dodge. Always a smart maneuver to dodge the Fusilier. See, two damage. We could hit him with a... With the... I don't know. Could hit him with Judgment, but I think healing her is probably a good move. Prodigious size alone does not dissuade the sharpened blade. That is certainly true. Let's go ahead and stun him to prevent him from him attacking us. And then she can go ahead and attack him, throw a bleed on him. I don't think it's going to be quite enough to finish him. Yep, he's going to get one more shot off. Okay, so he is pretty much done for. Just need to work on this guy. There we go. There we go. Okay, I guess you go ahead and throw a heal on Nimra the Red. And we're not going to be able to prolong this at all, so let her go ahead and take a healthy cut. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. Okay. Let's see. What else do we need? You know what? I need to use these dog treats. For the love of all that is good... Use the damn dog treats, Cavalier. Let's see, what do we have for torches? We probably could just dump those torches. We probably won't stick around that long. Okay, now we, of course, run into more problems. Are we going to want to use our camp? Let's go ahead and say no. Let's go ahead and figure out a way to get that out of here. What else are we going to say no to? Let's get a dump our shovels. If we run into a situation where we need to use a shovel, we are just going to say no. Okay, can we actually eat more food now? We can. You know, maybe we'll leave four food just in case. Okay, we found the secret room. Ancient artifact. Can you actually use anything in here is the big question. You know, maybe we need a key. I have a feeling that a key would have been useful there. Oh, I guess we can go ahead and get rid of the medicinal herbs. Uh, let's go ahead and continue back up. Yeah, we'll, we'll pop the, light, the torch. The promise of safety. We will go ahead and eat the last remnants of our food and enter this room. Now, I'm not sure how much longer we're going to stay after this particular battle, although this does not look particularly tough, which means we're probably going to be hurt. Because I... Maybe I'm not the best at predicting the difficulties. Yeah, there we go. We're, they're dodging us already. Throwing additional webs at us. No idea what that does. Um, let's see here. Try to... Somebody hit something. I'll take anything at this point. Okay, Judgment seems to be somewhat effective. Look at that. Nine damage. Ezor and Uka. That's pretty brutal. Pretty darn brutal. Try killing something. 
Oh, is he going to keep on taking it? He's taking it like a champ. Like a champ. Okay. Marking is somewhat brutal. You know, I guess we have to throw a heal on him. Oh, that's, that's kind of nasty. What's his blight at? Wow, that's some serious blight. Okay, somehow his turn got skipped. Or I'm, or I'm falling asleep. One of the two. Okay, that, that seemed to be somewhat effective. Uh, let's see here. Did you get a bleed on him? Yeah, that should kill him off. You seriously need to do that. For one. And then, let's see, give you additional dodge. Yeah, try that out. Okay, that was that was effective. Brutally effective. Get a heal on you. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. Okay, let's see. We forgot to use the dog treats yet again. We have no food. We have no secret key for a secret lock and stuff so you know I think it's probably a good time to leave a good time a good time for that to click you to work so we are successful we ended up killing the swine prince with relative ease even the caretaker was more difficult you know honestly those spiders were more difficult but we'll, we'll take it Nimmer the Red now has Demononomania, and she is faded. That's actually pretty cool. Stout. Well, I should say Hank is Stout, or Stout is Hank. Ezor and Uka are Ruins Adventurers, and Tinera picks up Hylomania. She is now obsessed with material things, which is great for someone who is curious. And we head back to the hamlet. I remember days when the sun shone. And laughter could be heard from the tavern. How is our stress? Our stress throughout the Hamlet is quite good. Let's see here. So we survived. We survived the Swine Prince. I'd like to thank you all for watching. As we play The Darkest Dungeon, I'm Chris Cavalier, and I nearly forgot the name of the game that I was playing. Anyways, I'd like to thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.